Within this lesson, we'll work to solve two-step word problems. Take a moment to read the problem to yourself. Follow along as I read. Sylvia cleaned two sevenths of the house in an hour. Her sister Taylor cleaned for that hour too. After an hour, they still needed to clean one third of the house. What fraction of the house did Taylor clean in an hour? Let's write out our focused answer. Here's the question. Taylor cleaned blank of the house, where the blank is a fraction. Let's think about this here of what fraction of that house that the Taylor had cleaned, and in thinking about that, is that part or a whole? It should be only a part. And then so it's just a fraction of the total. Do we need, do we know the total? Yeah, the total is going to be one, because that's going to be the whole house. So the whole house is one. One, which is the whole house. We also know some other things that we can go ahead and label our diagram with, so our picture. We know that Sylvia had claimed two-sevenths of the house. So two out of the seven parts was Sylvia who had cleaned that. So we'll go ahead and label that two sevenths for Sylvia, that she already cleaned that amount. We also know that after an hour, they still needed to clean a third of the house. So if we were looking at thirds, that's about thirds right there. So let's go ahead and draw that right there, there. That would be the third that they would have left. Now this amount here is the amount that Taylor had cleaned in that hour. So as you see here, we have one whole minus a third. That would be the amount that they had cleaned after an hour. It's right there. And then we can go ahead and take away the two sevenths that Sylvia had cleaned to be able to get Taylor's amount. 1 third minus 3 thirds, 1 is also equal to 3 thirds, minus a third equals 2 thirds. So this 2 thirds minus the 2 sevenths is what we would solve at this point to be able to go ahead and know how much Taylor had cleaned in an hour. Multiply by the other denominator. Using our numbers approach, we would get 14 21sts minus 6 21sts, which is equal to 8 21sts. And so Taylor cleaned 8 21sts of the house in that hour. Here's our next problem. Leo spent one-fifth of his money on Pokemon cards. He spent two times as much on a gift for his brother than on comic books. He had three-tenths of his money left. What fraction of his money did he spend on comic books? What are the different things that Leo is spending money on here? Let's see. He's spending money on Pokemon cards. In fact, he spends one-fifth of his money there. He's also spending money on a gift for his brother. And that amount that he spends is two times as much as the amount that he spends on comic books. So not only is he buying Pokemon cards, he's buying a gift for his brother, and he's buying comic books. The question is, what fraction of his money did he spend on comic books? And then so we'll write our focused answer of Leo. Spent blank 
of his money, which will be a fraction of his money on comic books. <laughs> Ran out a little bit of room there. So, let's start with a picture and a model. Do we know the whole amount? Yeah, it would be all of his money. So all of his money would be um, a whole, or one. That's all of his money. We also know some other values as well. We know that he spent one-fifth of his money on Pokemon cards. One, two, three, four lines for five parts. I'm not going to draw them, though. That's one-fifth. That's on P for Pokemon cards. And actually, I will write that out. That's Pokemon, and that is one-fifth. I also know that he had three-tenths of his money left. That's left at the end there. He had three tenths left, and he's still purchasing two more items here. He's actually purchasing um, a gift for his brother and comic books. It says he spends two times as much on the gift for his brother than for comic books. That means that this gift for his brother is actually twice the size of the comic books. So this is what we're trying to figure out. And if we call that C, this, the twice as much then as the gift, these two are actually both C as well, because C plus C, that would be the comic books and the comic books, would actually equal the cost of the gift for his brother. Drawing another diagram below, this one-fifth does actually equal two-tenths, and this was the three-tenths from before, so I know that this right in here is actually five-tenths, or one-half. So one-half, dividing one-half, then, and here's one-half, I'm dividing one half into three parts there. So that's why we're looking at three parts there. And it was one half times three times three. One half does equal three, three six. So each of these then is actually a six. So that one six plus one six plus one six is equal to three six which means that Leo spent one-sixth of his money on comic books. Jim sold three-quarters gallons of lemonade. Dwight sold some lemonade, too. Together they sold one and five-twelfths gallons. Who sold more lemonade? How much more? Let's go ahead and model it. In modeling it, we'll look at those important pieces of information. Thinking about who sold more lemonade. So let's see, blank sold more lemonade. He sold blank gallons more. And we'll write then and then we have to know who it's going to be, but we won't know until later. Let's get common units. 3 fourths times 3 and times 3. That equals 9 twelfths. So we know Jim sold 9 twelfths. Together they sold 1 and 5 twelfths. 1 and 5 twelfths is equal to 12 twelfths. 
plus 5 twelfths, which does equal 17 twelfths. So, I know I'm looking at 7. Let's draw that out. Remember, we are looking at twelfths. So that's going to be a hole. Here's another hole. Divide that also into twelfths. And we're looking at um, all of the lemonade that they sold all together. That'd be one and five twelfths. Two, three, four, five. That's 1 and 5 twelfths, which also equals 17 twelfths. And then we know that 9 twelfths of that was sold by Jim. 9 twelfths of that, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 twelfths of that was sold by Jim. That's Jim selling 9 twelfths of it. Meaning that together... Dwight sold this amount here, which if we count it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, which is 8 twelfths. So Dwight sold 8 twelfths. So 9 twelfths minus 8 twelfths would give us the how much more that they sold. And we know that 9 twelfths is bigger than 8 twelfths, meaning that Jim sold more. So Jim sold more lemonade. He sold 1 twelfth of a gallon. More than Dwight. And then so we're precise when we are answering our question. And drawing our picture and our model helped us understand the problem and what approach to take.